and I, I have to crunch. I had to crunch a lot of numbers whenever I did uh, loss prevention for bird, and uh, my dad definitely helped me a lot growing up with that shit. But that's crazy. Yo, should we? Uh, should we go? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Although we we should do that later though. Okay. <laughs> well, how did he win the How did he win the horse racing? Was it a, Was it luck? Luck or how did you know? Smart man. Like people think like death and uh, dumb and things like that. No, I mean well, no, 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 no. But that's like a stereotype, right? Like, oh, you can't hear death and like dumb. Like, dude, my dad came here with my mom, and my aunt, and uncle with forty dollars. 39 years ago, escaped the country because of communism. They would have no chance. 50,000 people from when communism happened, the, the new revolution uh, against, you know, uh, Poland for freedom. Like 35,000 people died or something. Just a fight for, yeah, President Reagan. Uh, during like the Cold War area with Russia. Uh, you know, if they didn't cut aid or something, then they agreed to all the European communist countries and stuff, you know, Russia. Oh, tell them I went to Ukraine uh, two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, he went to Ukraine two weeks ago, and he went to uh, Chernobyl, uh, where that uh, nuclear meltdown happened. Chernobyl, Ukraine, where, where, where the, the nuclear blast happened. But uh, how did he... He went there, closed, like... That and like dogs were walking by. I felt so bad. The dog walk had like like this like glowing fungus in his ears. All right, we should go anyways. Yeah, let's give all that time. So, thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yes, you. yes, yes. yes. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Indeed. We're gonna switch cars because it just goes to my uh, t uh, on my headlight. Like, all good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, we gotta still bring you your fuzz. Oh, yes. Cannot forget. Um, let me go grab something upstairs real quick. Oh, no, I have this right here. He's roasting me. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Hope you all enjoyed that. Should I just wait here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You want some of the Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't think I can show it, actually, to be honest. It's not a, like, a, like a, a gun that shoots bullets. Yeah, There's but I still, dude. Let's just not even... Let's just not go there, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't want to get arrested. Yeah, let's... Yeah, what? Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's a good paintball gun. Yeah, dude. Like, and then just air it Very up the nice. Like that. Yeah. And then it has like that. Can you turn off the eyes and all that stuff? Very nice. Like Very. Uh, selection, all that stuff. I want you to play, dude. I want you to play. One day, bro. But you seem yeah. like a you seem like a beast. No, dude. But that like paintball is fun. It's a good team activity. You gain friends. Like it's it's like really no, no, good I mean, for you to get is. out your anger. Or any type of thing. Like so it's, you just it's want to want to play paintball, you bro. No, dude, no, no. Talk about anger, dog. No, talking? not anger, but like, like, just go out on a weekend and have fun and shoot people with paintballs. We're not trying to actually murder people. Like when I got robbed, like, like my life could have been taken. Yeah. You know, I didn't know how bad that fucking dude's day was, you know, right? But like in paintball, I know I'm, it's it's safer than golf, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Sure. Yeah, I know, but I, like, dude, and I would. Uh, I mean, I'm not afraid of like anything. I just. Yeah, you've been shot with paintball. I don't like, like getting shot. Shit, I don't like getting shot. That's yeah, all. yeah. No, I, don't, no, I hate. No I've one had, really. I had paintball PTSD. Yeah. I mean, from, from donations. <laughs> from donations and stuff. So okay. All right, man, that's cool. All right, do you want to head up? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can go get something with friends. No, it's all good, bro. Sure. No, 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 no worries. Just some weed, bro. It's fine. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Yeah. Just, so just later. Now I got the total gym over there. I love this thing. I'm gonna take a piss real quick. Oh yeah. She said you made. She no. How do I thank you for the gyro?
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank, she, thank she you for the gyro, homie. Thank you for gyro, mommy. Yes, thank you. The gyro. Very good. Like she likes to uh, put, like, you know, she says thank you. And this is okay, like, yes? It's a little bit wet. This girlfriend was, like, you know, stuck waiting for a long time. This, this means okay, yeah? This is good. good. It's good. It's good. 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 What is this? Just, yeah, good. Fine. Yeah. Great. Great. Good. Yeah. Dobre. Dobre. Good yeah. in Polish. Dobre. Very nice. Yes. Yeah, stop. Stop. No. This is like hummus right here. She hummus. hummus. You want to let it go? I said you can eat yeah. really fucking healthy, Paul. And, Thank and you. And when it's got to eat healthy, you know? Homemade like uh, chips and stuff. It's good. Mmm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like my, my mom, she just loves cooking, so that's her, her thing. Mm. So, just need to skein away. Okay, well, bye-bye. Nice, nice to, meet to see you, you guys. Nice to meet you, too, Paul. That's it. Hmm. All right. Ready, bud? I'm going to take a yeah. piece real quick, dude. All right. I can get you I'm not shaking hands. Dude, no. I'm not his girlfriend, all right? You shake hands with, like, when, I'm, when you're, like, a boyfriend yeah. with, like, a girlfriend, dude. Like, this ain't, like, bro. You, why do I, bro, I'm not shaking hands, bro. That's, like, what you do with your girlfriend's dad, homie. Come on. He gonna think I'm gay. shake my hand I'd shake hands but I you just don't that's not normal dude what you mean it's okay to shake hands with this I mean you just met him it's just a normal greeting for sign language oh yeah that's right sign language and oh yeah that's right I was well, I waved at him I think the same thing I don't know. I, I've never shaken hands with just people I meet. I just, you know, I'm just like, hi. I like wave. Like, hello. How are you? You know, keep distance from people. You know, personal space. Things like this. I don't know, dude. Listen. It's fine. It's fine, dude. I know, bro. I can't do it now. Like, I'm at the problem. Imagine I, like, walk back over there. I'm just, like, like shaking hands. Like, bro, it's so weird. I can't do it now. It's too late. It's too late, bro. If I do it now, I look like a fucking weirdo. I, just, I can't do it now. It's too late. I'm exhausted. All that sign language, dude. For real, Paul. I bet, dude. Yeah, like, I don't know how the hell you do it, to dude, be honest, but. I'm fucking worn out right now. Like, my energy is low, so if I don't talk too much. So no, trust me. Yeah. Don't even worry about it, bro. Yeah. Just yeah. relax and just, you know, you. just you just chill the entire drive. Yeah, You're good. Everyone's probably sick of me. Yes. No, no, that's not true at all. But, you know, just relax, dude. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't even sweat it. Oh yeah, one sec guys.
Alright, we're, we're good now, guys. Alrighty, show me. There's no damage to the car. I need to check this fine, bro. From with the door, when you rip the door, when you close the door. Oh, God. Guys, like, look, I have duct tape fucking... Like, I have the clothes, yeah. yeah. I have the clothes, Yeah, I, I brought the clothes, chat. Don't worry. Hopefully, Kim will, you know, be... I mean, my parents basically told me it was like, yeah, it's like five pieces of clothing. Uh, and I, and I, I've had this for a while. I, I think you're really going to like that family. I, I will. Like it, dude. I wore it for a long time myself. I, like, because I usually go like... As long as they're washed, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, they're, they're all clean. I do my laundry. I'm able to actually do my own laundry. Not that like. Not like me. Well, no, I, I just make sure I do things for myself that don't put because, dude, like my mom, like you saw how like you know nice and like giving like you know. Hurt hunting, dude. It's not gonna. Dude, don't worry. About it's that. not gonna we work. We do that. Like honestly, we really could. And but it's still seven o'clock. Like yeah. Ten o'clock. Like if he if he wants to later, like we're, we're it's yes, we're gonna catch birds because. You just heard my. I told my fucking mom the story about. It. She was like, "Yeah, wait, what? You didn't really catch him?" She was surprised. She was like, wait, "Oh yeah, really?" Oh yeah. She's like, "What the fuck? Really?" But then again, we never did it during the day. It was always the night time. It was a side hustle, dude. It's a side gig. So I guess I get. Well, what's your charged. What's your main gig right now? Um. Yeah. So I'm a global strategist for a very very large uh, cannabis company. So I have, like, yeah, I, global strategist. You'll see like an Instagram video, and he's in like a facility that's all like super fancy, blah blah blah. And there's TVs around with like his logo and all that bullshit. He's just leasing shit from us, like that type of thing. It's not his. Oh, that's pretty nice actually. Yeah, it's it's a big uh, big thing, dude. Uh, but it's a very slow process, I can tell you. Um, like I'm working with vets right now, uh, veterinarians for dogs that have. Like a group of vets that uh, are taking care of. So you're like a marketing the, rep. Uh, yeah. So like from like say you had 50 grand, Paul, right? Mm -hmm. I can make you a business in a box, and we'll do all the marketing. 10k goes to marketing, 40k, and you don't have to meet the minimum if you don't have uh, like distribution or like uh, like already sales, like your revenue, like you have. Like, I, I don't sell to a fucking retail store, right? Like, Drip City, that's, like, right down here. Yo, CX Tyler. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll go home and we'll, uh, we'll see if it works out. Yeah, no, but, yeah, Drip City. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, uh, like, like, small businesses and stuff like that, they don't, like, I have to bet them. Eight out of ten, uh, people that they tell me to call, like, I get a, I get a list, and I do, like, Google spreadsheets and stuff. My dad helped me, thankfully, like learn, like a bookie type thing. Crunch numbers, and that's what I did for. Where's um, Yam Yam? Oh yeah, he's at the house. Yeah, he's he's in Austin, guys. No, he is. He actually came here the other day, yeah. and he's at home right now. Really, really quick. No, I'm just he's kidding. Dude, fuck Yam Yam and shit. He's all, dude. Yam Yam. Yeah, what was that? Nah, he's a fucking liar, dude. I, I, he, sent, he sent me a photo of himself. He's like 400 pounds. Geometry, guys. Geometry, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> now you really watch every stream, bro. You know so many details. I mean, yeah. Like I, I like, like I said, dude. You, you remind me of my brother, so that's why I really got drawn to you. And I like, like people hating you. That's because what? Your my voice or whatever? No, dude. The way you act, it was weird. like your. That works. If you say that I know a lot of small details and stuff, like I obviously wouldn't wouldn't just like say that. You said been watch when, when's the first stream you watched? Like, how'd you find it? Uh, so through, you know that like Spider Man or whatever, like that like some some dude would like jump off a bridge. Like I saw a Keemstar post about it or something. Yeah. Like like through Keemstar, and then you know, you know, I heard about like the S warning bullshit, and I was just like, what the fuck? so I kind of like t uh, checked it out because it was so different than anyone else was doing, you know, like on YouTube. Yeah. I actually. Uh, like I was uh, back then, I was like in a really dark place, uh, with struggling with like opiate abuse, drugs and stuff. 
uh, that doctors were feeding me. I was prescribed to all these, by the way. I'm not just like out there hunting for them. I was doing, uh, it put me in a really dark place. Like I was banging on the door at four o'clock in the morning to my mom and dad, who are obviously are deaf, but my mom can hear vibrations. You know, they can sense vibration. And I'm just begging for a fucking pill that a doctor, you know, 11 years ago would tell me, Alan, it's okay to take this pill. Like it's totally okay. It's fine. Yeah. Now they tell you, hell fucking no, you don't want to take this, blah, blah, blah. So it was a big marketing scam. So I remember for two weeks after I woke up sneezing and coughing 14 times in a row uh, and busted my L1 and L2 vertebrae. Wait, uh, what? From sneezing and coughing? Yeah, yeah. I woke up to a sneeze and a cough. I told the fucking doctor this too. And he was like, oh, you probably just pulled my muscles. I was like, dude, I've broken bones. I've punched around in paintball tournaments. Fuck this. Give me an MRI. Like, I could not feel my legs, dude. I would, like, after I would be done peeing, quote unquote, uh, like, I get that sprinkle afterwards. And, and I told him, I was like, and he was like, hmm, that's weird, okay. And I got the MRI on the way back, because I remember I woke up to a sneeze and a coffee. You know how when you sneeze and a coffee, you kind of go, go, go down? Yeah. yeah. So, this is like the weirdest place for it to ever happen. It actually hit my spinal cord. It was touching it, so they couldn't take it off the whole disc. He called me uh, the next day after he did the MRI, and he was like, oh my god, I don't ever treat like another patient again like this. This is, you need to have immediate back surgery, you're going to get paralyzed. And I was two weeks away from playing my first professional paintball event at 16, being the youngest athlete. And that's when I talked about like ego, like I'm the shit blah blah blah, because I came back after that back surgery, did all that, and uh, then I, uh, you know, kept having issues. I got diagnosed with Sherman's kyphosis, which is like hunchback syndrome. Like, uh, your back is kind of like a C. Uh, kyphosis on that means shark fins. So, it wasn't a good situation, but it was, my theory, and doctors agree with me, is that I got that from paintball, from always running. Like, I started when I was 10 years old, and I continued playing. You know, with the best players in Texas, best kids in Texas, BKIT. Uh, what were you doing? Sorry. Nothing, no, you're good. Keep, keep going, be the shark. Yeah, 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 you know, so, and then uh, at 23, I had the, the seven vertebrae, my T9 and my L3 uh, fused together with the. I mean, I don't know, I just, I don't want to think. Like, I'm positive now, dude. I, I, don't ask like I'm not gonna ask you about like uh, blah blah blah. No, you know, ask me whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I know, but like you know, in like uh, like uh, you know, bring you unnecessary way or something. I would just ask to hear hear you out or something, and then uh, try to figure out if it can help me in the future. Or something. I mean, just ask me whatever you want. Yeah. Doesn't like I'm my parents off. are really interested in you, dude. I will. I will say whatever. What, I don't know what the chat there's, there's was thinking, no but I, when my mom saw like this heart, she was like, oh, "I can tell." Thank you, mortal. What? When my mom like saw like I was like, "Dad, uh, you're like, do you want to see what it looks like?" Because I told them like what it looks like like from your point of view. Yeah. And they like saw the hearts. Uh, my mom did. She's like, oh, okay. She's like, "That's so many people. Like, how do you read it so fast?" It's like advanced reading. Yeah, but she saw the hearts. And she she was obviously thankful for that. So. Thank you, Master. It is not. Uh, so I have to say, I was like, it's been around the clock. Yeah, they're just so intrigued by the, your stories. They're just listening. Uh, like, dude, that whole, like, when you were like, just like, you sign so fast, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's mainly, it's just context. Like, give them the t context and then, like, subject, object, and then. Y'all are really more interested in this motherfucking beach ball than you are in his fucking story. Yeah, no, Listen no, to no. the fucking story. Stop playing with your goddamn beach ball, asshole. Sorry. There's some rude people in the chat that are playing with beach balls. I, I know that beach ball shit. I just click dismiss. I can click dismiss it. Yeah, they'll buy your 
Will Keller. It's yeah. fine. I have intuition. I knew you weren't, but you do talk a hell of a lot, and it's kind of hard to listen to sometimes. I can't even imagine you being quiet around your parents. No, yeah, I know. Chat. No, it's a lot more uh, quieter. It's not like do something fucked up or something. No, but that's like, uh, or, you know, I feel like you're a little, like, nervous or something. So when I was meeting you, dude. Absolutely. I mean, not now, but yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, you were, like, nervous. I was definitely. I could tell. I, I said it in Discord, too. I was like, was like, some people said, like, some really nice things, which I thank you for. Yeah, uh, I mean, I could just. But I was just really nervous, like, the whole, like, the stream ending and you're counting on me type thing, like, uh, to save the fucking stream. Like, dude, like, myself, I was, I was having a fucking panic attack, bro. I was like, like, holy shit, fucking, okay, I know where he is, like, he's on this side of the fucking, uh, Colorado River Town Lake, uh, and <laughs> I just fucking said, fuck it, I'm just gonna stop in the middle of Cebu Chavez, yeah. which is like no, a fucking worked. main road, dude. And it works, and then there was. But, but, like, the second time when I was trying to come pick you up also, like, dude, I was going in circles because you kept walking, uh, like, somewhere. Base goes. Shout out to you, man. Thank you. Uh, was like, I was like, man, just like spam, fucking stay where he is, whatever. And the the traffic from San Jacinto is fucking insane. So. Yeah, I mean, I could tell you were nervous, and, but that's all good. You like relaxed a little bit. And that was nice. Yeah, like I mean, I got diagnosed with like PTSD, so like if I talk about that robbery, obviously it's like a little bit like a, a weird thing, but like CBD has helped me so much, dude. I got a fucking the worst pain that a doctor could be. Why is there all type of one in the chat? Well, what's with the ones? And how am I being a dick? I literally just said that he talks a lot, which he does. Yeah, but I, I also that. Yeah. But I also said that he was nervous and it's okay. fucking busy with the damn beach ball. They're like, oh, let's just do something else. This is boring. It's easy, it's easy, easy. No, that's, I mean, that's not it. They're just, I think Chad has more ADHD than you do. Yeah, I'm ADHD, Chad. I was telling Paul, uh, uh, my psychiatrist, uh, I'm, my parents want me to sue Walgreens. We'll see what happens. I mean, uh, they did some fucking I don't shit. know if you can sue. What what they yeah. do to you? I mean, what does Walgreens do to, like, protect you, though? Uh, so, uh, they had, like, a, like, like learning labs, right? Like you go on the computer. Yeah. Uh, the boss, like so, there would be these fake coupon scanners, like scanners and coupons, and they would post pictures, be on the lookout of this person at the uh, time clock when they come in. Like, and, and these guys had uh, robbed six other Walgreens in the nearby towns before. No one knew. Yeah. They're supposed to be on the lookout uh, for that. And I asked, well, I asked my boss, who actually filled out my uh, robbery uh, yep. like yeah my robbery uh, like uh, like what to do if you get robbed like every man for himself type thing he actually did that for me after the fact of what happened and like people say like oh like you saved like you know they're all saying you saved everyone's life like dude I fucking like I talk a lot right so I talked my way out of that bro I got my phone back just thrown off the side of Mopac fucking so yeah, like they did that, and then I requested the human resources. I was spending so much money, dude. I wish no bad health on anyone, guys, in the chat. Like I wish you great health, because I spend about like seven hundred dollars, uh, like out of my pocket uh, every single month just for like the medication that they had, like gave me. There was a health insurance. Uh, no, I had health insurance to them, and I was uh, paying three hundred eighty-two dollars every uh, paycheck out of that was was taken out of my paycheck. So. I would get, and I would work. I was the only guy that, like, the only, like, man that worked and closed uh, the night shifts, and 
uh, when I asked my boss, I was like, well, so why don't you put, be on the lookouts for these fucking people that are trying to kill people? And he was like, oh, it's profiling. And when I reached out to the HR department, uh, this is actually uh, like what happened, how I uh, left the warrant. Uh, I, the, the case was open when I sent it to him. Yeah. And then I went back and I said, look, like I'm, I'm 7K in debt now. Like, I'm in $7,000 worth of fucking debt to do this, like, EMDR therapy. Just yeah, the left. Right. Yeah. Um, and I was like, like, like I guys. reached out to HR. And I'm like, dude, like, and I'm like. Where does it come from? one like guys. It's like, oh, and they're like, oh, free therapy sessions. And then they closed my case. And then the, there was a new regional manager, there's the district manager that watches over 14 stores. Well, his boss came in a week later and uh, uh, I admitted to my boss, who was also uh, a fan of CBD and stuff like that, and we put it in his coffee. That was broad spectrum, not full spectrum. Full spectrum, you have to have less than 0.3% THC and the, uh, you know, whatever mm -hmm. for it to be illegal. That's what hemp and all that CBD shit is. Uh, broad spectrum has 0% THC. Uh, but yeah. I uh, failed. Uh, I failed a like I got a random UA. Everyone did uh, the day after he came in and introduced himself and all this stuff. And uh, I don't know, man. I just think it was really uh, a weird way that I got fired. Uh, like it, it wasn't. I mean, just, you know, things happen. Uh, yeah, I yeah. got fired before but now, too. I'm, I'm grateful for it, obviously, like because I'm I'm in a better position now, like you know, with the company I'm with. Than no, that's good though. Sometimes getting fired is just all for oh, yeah. it's all it was, it was relieving. It's all for a reason. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely grew from that. And like uh so when my brother got like sentenced and stuff, I went into like I was like, I wanna force myself to go back there because I used to be really social and I had lost fucking sixty pounds and went back down to one forty eight and I was playing paintball and all that good stuff and then I kept injuring myself, blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Yes, history. And then it's gonna be to the right there. How was the chat reacting uh, whenever they came and saw my parents? Because I, I don't think you've ever done something like that. I before. mean, they liked it. They thought it was wholesome. Okay. They liked your parents. They, they were saying your dad is Michael Danino version two. <laughs> Dude, he's 66. How, did you think he looked 66? Uh, yeah, I mean, he looked about 66. Yeah. You know, he looks like a, I mean, he looks like a healthy guy. Yeah, he's, he's definitely in But shape, he's, dude. you know, he's yeah. 66. He was being really fucking uh, conservative with that 50 laps. Over. Uh, one sec, guys.
Yo, Kimberly, can you tell? Or fucking, yo, chat. I can't call Kimberly because I'm streaming. Can you tell her to fucking uh, open the garage door so I can get in the house? Because I'm kind of locked out of the house right now. Because I don't have the key with me or a clicker or nothing, so. She's not there. What you mean she's not there? What are you talking about? Yeah, y'all lying, bro. She's like two minutes away. Where the fuck is she? What do you mean she's not here? Where would she go? Where's she at, though? I don't know. Why don't I have a key? Because I lost it, homie. I, I texted her. But, like, you know. I don't know. Yeah. Going to the store probably. Maybe talking about her girlfriend, whoever it is. Oh, she's at HEB. Then she said she was gonna stream all of me every day. Yeah. No, she's at HEB. Yeah, uh, she's gonna stream when I go to on the trip, dude. Not not now. And when do you plan on leaving? What? When do you plan on leaving? Wednesday. Ma you mean maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. One of the two days, I have to, I have to figure it out. No, she's at HEB. She told me that's what she told me. We used to have uh, GPS on each other, but we don't have that anymore since oh, I, like I don't have a, that, like yeah, since I don't have an iPhone anymore. Well, I don't use my iPhone anymore. We don't have that anymore, so it's only an iPhone thing. Yeah, you didn't know exactly like where it was. Like, I know where. Calls, like phones or something like that. No, no, I just know where she was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. And then she knew where I was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because you can do that. I, I used to do the same thing with my bro. Yeah, yeah. And trust the shit. <laughs> GPS on it, yeah. I have a hard problem, like, after my that my brother's girl, like, fucked our whole, like, family over and leached off of us. That's, like, where I, you know, the whole leeching thing. Like, she fucking drained our... What do you mean? Our, she was trying to take my brother's $14,000 stock, uh, saying that she... What's up, little daddy? How you doing? I do know you. Yo. That's crazy. Well, uh, what, you, uh, what you just said, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, she said, like, I had really bad trust issues with women, so I can relate with you on that, like, the insecure part, I guess. Who the fuck needs GPS? Well, because we were, when, it was when we did a, when we, it's when me and Kimberly were having a long distance relationship. I lived in California, she lived in Missouri, we GPSed each other, so we knew, like, when it was an appropriate time to call each other. It wasn't like a, I don't, sense. it wasn't like a, I don't trust you kind of thing. Yeah. You know, we were long distance, so. Yeah, that's crazy how you put that together. That's crazy. What's, I remember that shit. Better. What's Mixer Elixir? You just gotta type it in Google, bro. Download it, more modes. Nope, no key, but here she is. She's pulling up right now. Yeah, yeah. Just park it like on the street over there. Oh, over the, oh, over there, right there. Yeah. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Dude? How you doing? Trying to fuck? What's up? Hey, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yo, come on, Snoopy. What you doing? What you, you really excited? What are you excited for, baby? What you want? What you want? What you want?
Thank you. Hey, yo, thank you so much, Johnny. Oh, God. Oh, God, thank you so much, Mommy. I appreciate you. Will you, um, will you help me bring in the groceries? They're really heavy. How are you on the floor? Because I'm the dog like me. Oh. I bet the house has pee and poop all up, all up in it. Was there pee and poop when you got home? No. Surprise, dude. He went right away, though, when I took him out. Yo, all right, I'll help you with the groceries. Yeah, they're just heavy. I mean, it's only one bag because I knew I wouldn't be able to carry all of it, but. All right, here, Chip, hold this. I wanted to go get the groceries. Here, I'll, I'll carry them into, um. No, 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 let me, I got it, don't worry. No, you gotta pick him up. Pick him up and he won't and he stops working. You have to pick him up. You just have to pick him up. No, no, trust me, you just have to pick him up. No, let's start, let's start barking. You just gotta pick him up. No, just touch him. You just gotta touch him, bro. Gotta go, go, go get him. I'm serious, bro. Just trust me. No, tr gang shit for real. No, trust me, dude. Trust me. Yo, seriously, bro. Just you gotta just touch him, bro.